We just parked the whip in beautiful San Diego, La Jolla. One of the richest parts of San Diego. We never done a video in this city before. We're at the mall. There's a lot of wealthy, rich people walking around. And we're gonna ask them, hey, what do you do for work? How much money do you make? How can we be rich? like you. Also, if you are an entrepreneur, business owner, or someone that just wants to make more money or find their next career opportunity, I have a community built just for you. In this community, we all get to talk to each other, learn from each other. It's a network of a lot of successful people, live calls, guest speakers religiously. Remember, if you're all about leveling up your life, your network is your net worth. Click the link in the description below and let's get the video started. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Good to meet you, Snooch. What's your name? Slav. Slav, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Business development. Business development, okay. <laughs> what, how long have you been doing that for? And for over 20 years. 20 years, okay. You love what you do? Absolutely. Okay, now how much can one make per year doing that? Basically, you can make like millions. Millions. Would Absolutely. you Would you say you're in that boat, possibly? <laughs> if I wanted to be in your shoes or anybody watching, how do we get there? How do we get into your shoes? Do you have to go to college? My advice is train your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, okay. Because in business development, what you do, you don't talk. You, you don't. listen. Okay. You let them talk. Ah. You connect the dots. Ah. And then you come up with the solution. I love that. Now, did you do you have to have a degree? Not necessarily. It's a nice piece. Of, it's a nice piece of work. Yeah, I do, but like. But you don't use it for what you do. No. What do you do for work? Uh, I have a digital marketing agency. You own one? Yeah. Oh, cool. How long you been doing that for? About twelve years. Twelve years. Do you like what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, how much can one make doing that? Your company can make millions. Millions. Are you in the million range? Yeah. Oh, sure. That's that's great. Now, if. I wanted to be in your shoes or anyone watching wants mm -hmm. to be in the same position as, as you make the kind of money that you make what kind of advice would you give them um, besides hard work you know besides showing up for yourself do you need to go to college for that not necessarily no you okay. don't need to go to college um, you need a good business model so okay. if you're gonna be a marketing agency you got to figure out uh, who your clients are gonna be how you're gonna make money how are you gonna make money each month? Like what kind of recurring model you're gonna have? Yeah. Um, obviously hard work and showing up are important parts of it. Um, and then if you wanna reach those levels, you have to figure out how you're gonna scale. Gotcha. Uh, how you get started is gonna be different than how you grow, which is gonna be different than how you succeed when you're big. Yeah. So, if I mean, if you wanna be small, you can do that. It's not very difficult. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna grow, scaling is gonna become very important. Absolutely. Now, can you kind of describe like your, your first moment of like starting it for the founders of our company we all stopped what we were doing with our normal lives sold our other business got together what was the other it, business i had a math tutoring business. oh wow how much so, was that generating uh that was just a one franchise location so oh, maybe cool. uh maybe two hundred thousand a year you're a real entrepreneur like huh oh, so far, so <laughs> but uh but yeah so i mean for us we had to start over so we all moved in together we worked out of our houses I like that. Uh, what, you know, built it out of Vegas, and then eventually we could move here and get an office. Wow, that's awesome. Now, yeah. do you have any like socials or any um, like any like a web? Like, can you say the company yeah, name? Yeah, company name's Doctor Multimedia. Okay, so check it I'll out. We're an agency for doctors. Okay, our office is right here in the mall. It's right up there. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's not my. Oh, we love it. so so agency for doctors. So you you help market for doctors. Exactly. Oh wow. So okay. their websites, their social media. So think about your dentist. Your if you have wear glasses, your optometrist, your veterinarian. Yeah. We might do their website for. You. I see. So. How does that work? Is it, is it geared towards more privately, like private doctors? Because yeah. and individual owned Got practices. you. Because it was, if it was through insurance, it wouldn't make sense, Yeah, right? not so much. I mean, if they're a privately owned practice, they could be our client. But if they work in like a hospital or in a big group, they're not going to be responsible for that. That makes sense because they need new clients to do that. What do you do for work? I'm in real estate. Real estate. Okay. How long have you been doing that for? For over 10 years. Over 10 years. Are you an investor? Are you in, in uh, a realtor or a real estate agent? I started out in construction, but I'm also an agent. I'm okay. a broker, so I, I'm a I do developments plus I sell real estate. Got you. So, in your position right now, how much can one make per year? Infinite amounts of money. Uh, over a million dollars. Over a million. I mean, you don't have to go to college necessarily to do what you do, but you definitely got to get your uh, your license. Would you recommend that first? 100%. Okay, so get your license. Any other, like, words of advice or tips besides the hard work you know besides the showing up for yourself anything you want to lead to someone that wants to be in your shoes focus and, and, and dedicate yourself to one thing if you're going to be an agent do that if you're going to get in construction and development do that but focus on one thing got you now what did you focus on first an agent developing developing and then you became an agent yeah at the same time because I've been in the been in the game a long time 
is real estate the best thing to invest in right now? Or what do you, what's your thoughts on that? Yes, I'm not somebody that can coach or talk about crypto or yeah. the stock market because it's never been my thing. Yeah. I always like to invest in things that are tangible. Real estate is something physical of, assets. Of, uh, is a physical asset. I can touch it. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Um, right now, we're in a we're definitely in a in a funny place with the market in in any Interest country or and, state yeah. that we're in or city that we're in. But uh, you can't go wrong if if you are buying property that you can build value with mm. and create income. Do you believe in renting where you live and buying and renting those out, those properties that you buy to rent those out? Yes. Yeah? Okay. That's yes. the way to go about it, right? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Buying real estate where you can add value by building one or two more properties yeah. within that footprint and renting those as well, whatever you want to call them, accessory dwelling units or I love guest that. homes, but yeah. that's what they're called. Live. Okay. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. I'm John. John, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? I'm an interior designer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. We never got one of those before. Okay. How many years have you been doing it for? Twenty. Twenty years. You love what you do? I do. Okay. I do a lot. How much can one make per year doing that? Three hundred. I would say is a good targeted number. Three hundred. Okay. So you're you're probably in that range, maybe. Yes. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, is your is your net worth over a mil? Yes. You say okay. Awesome. If I wanted to be an interior designer, yes. you know, like yourself. Do you need a college degree, firstly, or? You do not. Typically, there are the degree programs, of course. You can do it if you go into your own business, sorry, if you start gotcha. your own business. You do need a degree if you're going to work for a firm, so yes. Do you have your degree? I do. Okay, but do you use it for what you're doing? No. Okay. Uh, in fact, once you get started, and it's always it's such a visual line of work, it's more who did your kitchen, or mm. I really like your home, oh, John did it. It's all word of mouth, typically. Okay. Like a real estate agent. 100%. Now, can you kind of describe your first moment, or like first steps of starting your own? Like being an interior designer, what was the first oh. steps that you did? I went to school, then I got hired by a larger firm. Okay, and so then I went on my own. When you went to that larger firm, did you take some of those clients of yours that you built there, or you started from no, scratch? I started from scratch, because okay. that's very unethical. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, do you have any words of inspiration to anyone that wants to be in your shoes? What, what would you give them? What kind of advice? I would say just realize, you know, like any job, you're going to start at the bottom as you should. Just, uh, there shouldn't be anything beneath you. You should absorb everything like a sponge and then that's how you go up the ranks. I like and then that. when you're at a certain level, you remember the steps of how to get things done at a lower level. So if someone says you can't do that, you're able to say, yes, you can mm. because I did that job and you have to do this and then do that. I love that. What do you do for work? I have my own consulting business. How long have you been doing that for? About five months. Five months now. Do you like what you do? I do, yes. How much can one make? Per year doing that. hundreds of thousands of hundreds dollars. of thousands yeah. if i wanted to start one right now mm -hmm. what are some tips besides the hard work besides showing up for yourself what are some practical tips you would give someone that wants to start one uh look within your network okay. and don't be afraid uh to make the ask i think a lot of folks struggle with asking because they're afraid of hearing the word no yeah and so if you just ask folks uh needs uh, be open to tailoring your approach, okay. uh, tailoring the work that you do to whatever the needs of are of your of your clients, um, and then just uh, be right with money. Understand like the dollar. Understand uh, invoicing. Understand uh, how to get people to pay their bills yeah, and, and, yeah, and your yeah. invoices. Uh, that's the hard part is chasing money as well too, making sure that you get paid. No, for sure. Now. Can you kind of describe your first client? How'd you get your first client? Uh, through a friend. Through a friend. Uh, through a friend's company who needed some help in just uh, business development, um, outreach to the community. And okay. so uh, knowing my skill set and what they were looking for, and I was able to accommodate and figure out uh, the right price and yeah, what, what they wanted for a contract and scope of work and just negotiate with them and got them signed. Which is your net worth a million just yet? Uh, it's a little over that. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. That's yeah. that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all your success. It. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Uh, hey, I'm Don. Don, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? I'm retired. Okay, what do you do when you weren't retired? I worked for Merrill Lynch. Oh, really? Uh -huh. What was your position there? Account executive. Oh, got you. Now, how much can one make per year doing that? A million dollars a year. To get to that position uh, working at Merrill Lynch, do you have to have a degree or is it kind of one of those jobs where you work your way up? It's pretty much you have to have a, a college degree. 
Gosh, gotcha. so that's the minimum. And, and today, if they're even stronger. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so college degree, and then work your way up in the ranks, and then any other words of advice to someone that wants to be in your shoes one day? Get a good education. Education. Never stop educating. Yourself. I like that. Be nice. Be uh, receptive to everybody. That's good. Uh, have a smile on your face. Yeah. And, that's... Uh, so that people like you and they get along with you. That's that's and, great. And, You'll do okay. Yeah, I love it. What do you do for work? I do nothing. I'm retired. What did you do when you weren't retired? I was a city planner. Exactly. City planner? Mm -hmm. How long did you do that for? It's 40 years. 40 years. Did you look, like what you do? I did like it, yes. Okay, cool. Now, how much can one make per year doing that? Uh, planner probably makes uh, around $100,000. 100000 And then you get into management, you can make more. Okay, did you ever get into management? 200000 or more. If someone wanted to be in the same position as you, mm -hmm make the kind of money that you make, do they have to go to college? What are some tips? They would have to go to college. So college first, okay. Yes. And then, uh, I didn't do it, but people often get a master's degree uh, if they want you know, if they want to go into management. It's not required. Okay. And um, so and call management, college, yeah. okay. Join the right company or well, does it matter? Well, you either public or private, yes. Obviously it matters for personal satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, no, people switch around and, you know, find the place they feel most comfortable. How are you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Sean. Nice Sean, nice to, to meet you. Yeah. What do you do for work? I have an insurance company. You, you own one? Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Since 2006. Damn, okay, that's good, that's good. Now, how much can one make per year doing that? A couple hundred thousand. A couple hundred thousand, okay. Yeah. Now, can you kind of describe how you started it? Like, how does one start that and get into your shoes? Uh, well, the first thing you have to do is open up an agency, get an LLC, open up an agency. LLC, okay. You got to get appointments through um, different insurance companies. I got you. You get the appointments and you become a broker. Oh, ah, okay, and that's kind of how you did it. Yeah. You don't need a college degree, right? No, not at all. Okay, do you have one? I do have you one. Have, and you don't even use it? No, nope. I used to be an elementary school teacher. Really? Yeah. Okay, what made you want to start this? It's not enough money. Teachers don't make enough money. Yeah. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Hi, Snooge. What's your name? I'm Royce. Royce, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Uh, I do property management. Property management. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, since about 2013, about 20, 10 years. Okay, cool. Do you have to get a real estate license for that? or yeah, yeah. You do? Okay. Now, in your position right now, how much can one make per year doing that? Like, what do you want? Like a range? I mean, you can make you, six figures. Six figures, yeah. okay. Are you a team or do you have... I'm a solo broker. Solo yeah. broker, so okay. I do sales and property management. Okay, and you can make a couple hundred grand doing yeah. that? Okay, cool. Now, besides the, the license, is there any, uh, any other tips if someone wanted to be in your shoes? Um, I mean, yeah, outside of getting the license, you have to pass the, yeah, pass the test. Right. Um, typically, you want to start out, you know, learning from others. So like, even though I got my broker's license right out the gate, I still work for another broker. Yeah. Um, you know, because you just gotta learn the, the industry, learn the inside out. That's true, so speed it's, up it's, the process. Yeah, speed yeah. up the process. But I, I mean, I branched off pretty quickly after a year, so it can be done. Um, so just kind of finding people that, you know, can mentor you and, 100%. and kind of teach you what they're all about. Um, and just being kind of entrepreneurial about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, would you say um, your net worth is, is over a mil or? Well, I mean, I've been investing in real estate yeah. so, since before I got into this, and I was a computer software engineer for that. Yeah, so, so it's I definitely mean, up there. Yeah, I own lots of real estate. Lots so. of. Can you say how much real estate you own? I own seven properties. Oh, okay, cool. And, um, some are paid off, so they cash flow. Yeah. You know, and that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that's that's the real secret. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for work? I am a banker. You are a banker. Okay. How long have you been doing that for? For a while. Over 10 years? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, in your position, how much can one make per year doing that? Hundreds. Hundreds. Over a hundred thousand. Okay, over hundreds of thousands. Now, yes, uh -huh. to get to your position, to make the kind of money that you make, what are some tips or advice? Do you need a college degree? Well, making it a career. I started out at the bottom and made my way up to the top. What I do is tell them if you don't have a career, get with a good company, well-based company, start from the you know start like an internship program i like and that make your way up to the top i love that what do you do for work uh, i'm in the military okay cool how long you been in serving for and thank you for your service uh, almost 17 years 17 years okay what is your position there i am an air traffic controller in your position right now how much can one make per year doing that as a civilian six figures to get in your shoes you have to join the military first right to do air traffic control you do not need to have a degree and you do not need to join the military. Gotcha. You can go straight to the FAA. They do an open hiring off the street. What do you do for work? I work for Polestar here in North America. Okay. Uh, how long have you been in that for? 
uh, working in this industry yeah, yeah. since 2012. 2012, okay. And what's your position there? So I'm an advisor. Advisor. Now, how much can one make per year doing what you do? Probably make close to six figures. Six figures, okay. To do what you do, um, is there any certain like special requirements, degree, stuff of that nature? I would say this is probably more of experience. Can you kind of describe some of the things that you do in your position? So for myself, I do everything. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Yeah. So I wear a lot of hats. No pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do everything from delivery. I'm here as an educator to customers. Um, so walking them through whether it be product or the lifestyle that goes along with an electric vehicle. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Now, do you have any tips or advice to someone that wants to be in your shoes and do what you do? Probably your foundation, right, is always a great work ethic. Yeah. But uh, I'd say just be open to everything that you have, whether it be your coworker that you're working with. But passion is key, right? Do something you're passionate about. That's probably another core fundamental of anything that, uh, or hopefully you're luck lucky enough to have yeah. that ability to follow that core value. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Hey, Snooge. What's your name? Jim. Jim, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? I sell insurance. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? 35 years. 35 years. You love what you do? Sure, man. Okay, so how much can one make per year doing what you do? 300000 If I wanted to be in your position and make $300,000 a year, what's some advice? Uh, just sell yourself, man. Sell yourself. Okay, do you have to just join the right company or? Just sell yourself. Sell yourself? How did you do it? Like, sell myself. Sell yourself. So you went to the company and you just like sold yourself? Yeah, just learned the business from growing up in it. Okay. Oh, so you grew up in it. Okay, guys, so let me just take a seat real quick. All right, so. San Diego, beautiful place, I'll tell you that. But what you guys didn't see, and I wish we would've showed you, I wish me and Marlon would've showed you guys, by far, the most challenging place to shoot a video because a lot of people here, they say they're friendly, right? But you come here and a lot of them just don't wanna be part of the video. It's just constant rejection, rejection. I know, like, it's just, I almost got, I got overwhelmed. For the people that did participate, we got a lot of great answers. Let us know what video you want us to do next. Like it if you're new, subscribe. Also, just a reminder, if you are an entrepreneur, I have a community just for you. In this community, we all get to talk to each other, learn from each other. We have live calls and guest speakers religiously in here. If you're all about leveling up your life, you have to be able to surround yourself with great, like-minded people, and this community is just for you. Consider it, click that link below. You tell me I'll see you on the next one. Tell me I'm something you need But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want Then you know I'm just so hard to please I lie to your face, they get what I want